NC. Hi all and welcome back to my channel. NC mods here. I hope you all fine. Today I'm going to show you again a great thing. Uh, a lot of people has the issue that uh, some AMD processors are running really hot. We are talking here on, uh, or let's say, about AMD processors for AM4 or maybe also AM5 motherboards. And I'm going to show you just with one click what you need to do to get way better temperatures as before. The only thing you need to know is you need to get in the BIOS and then you search the option Core Performance Boost. Okay, So this is the only thing that you need to disable. When you have just disabled that, you're going to have way better temperatures. Okay, I promise you that, guys. The other thing that you also understand, um, just take a look here. You can see this is my CPU. I got here the big boy. I got here the R9 uh, 5950X, like you can see. Um, and here you can also see I'm about 30, 31 degrees. And uh, I got here core voltage, uh, let's say, about 1 volt only. Okay, So if you just enable that stuff again, you're going to have here core voltage about 1.4 okay and not one volts so 1.4 volts is way more as just with one volt and that's the main reason why they are running hot because in the background uh, the processor needs that power if you are running let's say with some overboost or yeah let's say the pbo settings you can also go here uh, let's go to the um, precision boost um, boost <laughs> overdrive <laughs> the precision boost overdrive the, the boost <laughs> yeah okay so sorry guys i'm just some kind of stupid but here you can see that so um if you guys are also here having all automatically or let's say enabled of course it will run really hot and that's the the main reason is like i told here the uh, the core performance boost if this is enabled then like i told you're gonna have even higher temperatures and your cpu gonna run with about 1.4 volts okay so now i'm gonna just activate for you that let's say i'm gonna put it just on automatically mode or on automatic mode then i'm gonna just save it with f10 let's uh, just save and get out and then we're gonna enter to the bios again and there you will see now that uh, the cpu should be now about 10 degrees hotter and we have here about 1.4 um, volts wait so now i'm just entering the bios again and now just take a look here we are now on 41 degrees and we have here, like I told you, 1.4 volts, okay? Just that you can see. We can also uh, just disable it again and uh, we can also run a quick benchmark that you can see there. There will not be so much that it will change. So about the performance, mm, I would say, uh, this is just not worth to let it on because first you're going to have, uh, yeah, hotter, let's say, CPU hotter heatsink or, or let's say the cooler and uh, if you have a small water cooling of course your water gets also with the time faster hot and the problem is at all that the cpus they are not really stable they're not really running stable when they are running on about 98 degrees what the hell <laughs> okay so now um we can let it like this and we're gonna just get into the uh, windows uh, blah 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 uh yes okay so now let's just go out with this uh, with this settings here. Um, it's all the, the rest is on original. So I'm here on 3.4 gigahertz, just like this, uh, and not overclock it for now. Just to show you that stuff here, and uh, just with that, yeah, option enabled, uh, which I have shown you right now. And you can see I'm already not on 62 degrees. Look at that! Oh my God! See that? So wait, um, I need to get a little bit closer for you guys. And then you're going to be able to see that. So let me just focus. Here we go. Okay, you can see um, we are here already on about, um, it will see the hottest, it was here on about 62 degrees because when the CPU on the first start, um, of course, the computer will need a little bit more power, uh, but then it comes down, let's say, about or after one or two minutes. Okay, but now you can see. It's running here with some kind of boost and it's 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 going up to till to uh, 4.7 gigahertz i think i'm not sure but uh, i normally don't have this option here 4.8 gigahertz you see this is that what i was talking about okay so here this is really running crazy and that's why you also get uh, let's say um, a hot cpu and i really got the big water cooling okay let me now just try to show you that guys and even on a big water cooling the cpus here are running really hot if you have this option on let me not just show you my system quickly you can see i got here a big uh, resurator which has about three liters 
and uh, you can see all the stuff here and all the big mora uh, so this is really a big water cooling i'm not talking about the small AIO water coolings which are sitting in the computer inside this is really a big water cooling and this one here needs a lot of time till it gets hot okay so i'm not kidding but even there the cpu is running hot like hell okay because this option is just activated and now let's just do a small benchmark to see the scores uh, I'm gonna go here for let's say CPU benchmark. I'm gonna run Signbench 11.5. I know this is an old one, but this is just enough to test because this one here runs yeah way faster as let's say the newest Signbench R20 or R25, 22. I don't know. Um, so let's not just go here for um, Signbench um, 11.5. If you want to test the same, then you need to look. If you can get a uh, Signbench 11.5 because this is one of the oldest <laughs> but I just love it because it runs really faster and I don't need to wait so much time so now let's just start it here we go and uh, we also gonna take a look on the temperatures and you can see it's already running here on 62 degrees it's finished we got here 48.3 okay just save that for you guys 48.3 now we're gonna just um, restart it, then we're gonna just disable that option again. So here, uh, yes, and let's now just get in the BIOS again. And then we're gonna just disable it and we're gonna yeah, take a look again on the scores. But like I told, I have uh, done this test already for me and in my eyes, yeah, it was not worth for me to let it on because in first case, like I told, it runs hotter. And uh, the other thing is, I don't need it at all. This processor is, oh, is so or so, uh, let's say, strong enough. And um, yeah, I need to get the BIOS again. Maybe I'm going to cut this off here. <laughs> but doesn't matter. I can record and keep recording it. So I was just too slow. See, this computer's way uh, too fast for me. Again, restart. I need to go again to the BIOS. I'm sorry. <laughs> Precision overboost. <laughs> oh my god. The overboost. Bios, 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 bios. Okay, so looks good. We are entering the bios right now. Then let's do it again. And we go here to extreme tweaker. And we go here to here core performance boost. Okay, <laughs> just disable core performance boost. Disable it. Here we go. And let's just save it and get out again. Yeah, NSC is crazy sometimes, but yeah, you already know me. <laughs> okay, so now I think the score was about 43. So, um, yeah, you can say what you want. Maybe for you, it's, uh, let's say like that. If you want to do some, uh, let's say, benchmark scores or whatever, uh, some benchmark fighting with some other guys and some other computers, you can maybe, let's say, okay, it's worth, but if you are just using your computer, just standard like I have, or like I'm doing, um, you don't really need it. So now the difference, take a look here. We are now on 33 degrees, just starting the computer. It was before on 62 degrees, just that you can see the, the difference. And this is really a lot, okay? So we are talking here over 30 degrees nearly, yeah, okay? So here we are on 30 degrees right now, minimum, or let's say the maximum was 35. And we had before uh, it was 62 degrees, okay. And also the power consumption is now very low, and that's great, okay. Really, you guys are gonna love it. So um, now let's go again for Signbench. Um, blah blah blah. Here, Signbench 11.5 again, and let's run it. Here we go. Come on, here. You can close this one. Okay, so now let's start it again. Let's get the temperatures back and you can see it's running on 43 degrees, just easy, just cool, 44. So it's, yeah, of course it's, yeah, let's say about 20 degrees better temperatures. The scores here are um, 42 right now, so we, before it was 48. Yeah, it's just like I thought because I still had it in my mind that it was about 44, uh, 43 or 42. Uh, it was before 48 so this is up to you guys 
if it's worth for you to have it enabled or not but if you are on air cooling and you just like to cool your AMD processor really stable um, then you should disable that option okay and you can find this option on a lot of motherboards not only on ASUS because I got here the ASUS Dark Hero but uh, this option you can find nearly on all the motherboards on AM4 uh, let's say on AM4 sockets and also on uh, AM5 sockets I'm pretty sure okay so I hope you like this video and uh, stay tuned on my channel because this one here gonna help you really if you have some overheating issues with your AMD processor and if you have a smaller cooling, a smaller heatsink, a smaller cooler, or let's say, like I told, um, air cooling, you should disable this option because, guys, I'll, I promise you, you gonna love it, okay? <laughs> Alright, guys, that was all for me, and I'll see you in the place to be. Peace! And see. Precision boost, um, boost <laughs> overdrive. <laughs> the precision boost overdrive, the, the boost. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, sorry, guys, <laughs> I'm just some kind of stupid. Super Mario! Yeah, Super Mario! Luigi! Yoshi, Yoshi! Yoshi!